So here is Farinelli, and his first pitch home is in for his strike. For a lefty, it is so hard when you're going up against another left hand. Roach is behind that one. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss. Went up and in in the fastball at 93. Oh, it's in that outing. It's low here with the changeup. So a leadoff walk. Runner goes and stops. The pitch on a hop to second. Samini to short for one turn to first is in time for a double play. Traction is a left-hander. Nice piece of hitting by Wang there. Shortening up with two strikes. And he goes into center field for the Eagles' first hit of the day. Samini right back to Arnold. But his throw was wide to first base. Five RBIs and five runs in his last two. And he swings through that one for strike three. Here's the one, two. Swing and a miss. Went up and in with the fastball. And that's four strikeouts for Jamie Arnold. Back up the middle and through. So second inning in a row, Boston College has put the leadoff man on as Landwehr gets one off the end of the bat. Gonna guard against it every time. McNulty does get the bunt down, back to the mound. Arnold hesitated, and then he throws it into center field. He had time, he had the out at second, but he hesitated at first, and then when he finally threw, it was wide. Patrick Roach, the leadoff man, squares and gets it down. Arnold feels, looks at third, this time takes the sure out and gets it. So a sacrifice bunt by Patrick Roach. Out to left field and deep. Ferrer is back to the track, to the wall, it's gone! Cam Leary with a three-run homer! And Boston College strikes first, it's 3-0. Wow, his 10th of the year, and it is a big one here in the bottom of the third. How about that? Go to left center with it, why not? Look at this swing. Left it over the heart of the plate, and he takes it just to the left of the 375 sign. That is a great pitch of hitting. Hope the Florida State bats can get going. Swing and miss. So strikeout number five is completed at first base. Hit hard to short for Cal Fisher. And that does end the inning. For the Eagles who are up 3-0 and headed to the fourth. Ferrer out to left field and deep. And that ball climbs over the wall. It's a line drive home run for Jaime Ferrer, his 10th of the season. And Florida State gets one back. Well, there's your answer, Eric. That ball was hit on a line. Way ahead, nothing and two on Samini. One hop to short, diving pick, long throw, Fisher. Not gonna get there. And that's strike three. So at number two in the inning, Parker singled his first time. And that is up the middle, and that is through. So Landwehr is two for two, and Adam Magpock goes first to third. Now he's coming home. He surprised everyone, but the throw is still in time. He did. He surprised a everyone. A little bit of an argument as well after the fact with Roach in there. Todd Donato is going to argue that the tag was not made. That was a good job by Florida State to stay with that. There is a line drive into right field, and that is a hit. Runner goes and stops, and the pitch is swung on and missed for strike three. With Smith Tibbs due up next. Williams swings through it. 0-2. Off the end of the bat into right center. Cam Smith with a big hit. West goes to third. It's a double for Smith. And now second and third for Florida State with two outs, and here comes Tibbs. See what the choice is. Off the outside, and they're loaded. One, two. Back to the mound. Moore, get, tossed to first. Oh my, he overthrew it, and it's off the glove of Wang, and the game is tied. The inning was over.
Moore hesitated to first. Oh my, it's 3-3 three, three here in the fourth inning. 3-1, line drive over second. Dinges brings in two, and Florida State has flipped this game. It's 5-3 Knowles. Swap struck him out. So Cantu is down on strikes. That ends the inning. In on the knees, out on the knees. In for strike three. Off the end of the bat to third base, spinning away from Smith. His throw on the run is in time. One, two, three for Jamie Arnold. Here's the 0-2. On the ground, left side. Tough play, McNulty. Can he make the throw? No, that's Fisher beating it out. Good try by Sam. Those pop-up rainstorms that's down right. south, those are always fun. That is outside ball four, so first and second. We've been talking about with Smith. Runners off, pitches up and away. And they're loaded again. The base is loaded this year. 2-2. Two -two. Breaking ball, fisted. Nobody's there in the shift, and it drops in. Fisher scores, throw goes to third. It's not in time for Smith. And Tibbs brings home two, and the Seminoles lead seven to three. Getting on base these last couple innings especially. 2-2, two -two. breaking ball hit high and deep to left. Macpock turns, and that is gone. Jaime Ferrer with his second home run of the game and his 11th of the season, and the Knowles have broken it open here in the sixth. Well, Eric, we said his first home run was hit right on the screws. I mean, this one was absolutely crushed to left center field. And we said it, two strike hitting. This is a home run on two strikes, and this is drilled out to left center. He knew it right away. That ball is well over the 375 sign. A big, big hit. This was the two RBI single after to make it 5-3. Line drive to right, that is in. In front of Cam Carraher. So Dinges has hits in each of his last two at-bats. You know, you throw a couple good pitches, you're gonna make one mistake, leave one over the plate here. They got the pickoff, Wang throws to second. And that ends the inning. 294 ERA, 21 strikeouts. Swing and a miss. Fastball up. That is eight strikeouts today for Jamie Arnold. If you don't like it, wait five minutes. 1-1. <laughs> <laughs> one, one. Line to left field and in front of Magpock. So Cantu shows a little bit of opposite field power. Goes the other way with a leadoff single here in the seventh. Is as high as it is at number two coming in. That is lined underneath the glove of McNulty. Went past Kuhn first, and then McNulty couldn't get to it. So back-to-back -back hits for Florida State to start the seventh inning and came around to score. Shows bunt, gets it down. Kuhn goes to first and gets the out there. On we go. 3-2 is ball four. So Fisher goes to first base. Bases are loaded. Axe Williams now. That is hit hard. Diving play, though, by Wang. So Nick Wang gets the out. It does bring a run in. Cantu scores from third. But Wang knocks it down and gets the second out of the inning. And the wind's howling. Smith into right field and deep. Carraher to the wall, and he makes the catch. Just enough room to secure it. Shrinking gap between where they are in the RPI and where they are in the polls. Arnold goes off speed, gets McNulty to wave through it. And he is through seven innings. And that is quite an off-speed pitch, 74 miles an hour. And he got Collins out in front. What an impressive start to this year. And as he continues on into ACC play, expect to see a lot of good things from Arnold. Breaking ball is out to left. Ferrer is back, it's over his head and off the fence. Leary around third base, the throw to the plate from Ferreau is not in time. It's an RBI double for Nick Wang. And Boston College is back on the board at 11 to four. Short way ahead on Samini, nothing to do. Went to the slider, popped up. 
Foul ground to the right side for Daniel Cantu, and he ends the inning there. Cantu pops it up to the left side. Long run, Sam McNulty is out. Oh my, what a play. Sam McNulty went a long way for that baseball. Farrell rips this to right center field. Larry gives it a look, but that is gone. Fourth home run of the season for Drew Farrell, and Florida State adds another here in the ninth, 12 to four. This is just a great piece of hitting. This ball is smoked to right center. You knew off the bat that that thing was gone. I mean, what a swing this is. Take a look here. Oh boy, that ball is absolutely crushed to right center. Worth doing that because if you have a chance to be a home run hitter, whatever the case may be, is that is a line out for Florida State. It was their best hitters who were at the plate in those moments. To short for McNulty. Brad Lombardi gets through the ninth. Today the big difference is the two out hitting, right? One team seven for 16, the other team is two for nine. That is in for strike three on the outside corner. It's very similar to Arnold. It's very difficult to pick up. Carraher goes the other way with this, and it's tracked down and left by Ferrer. So two away in the ninth. Two-two. Is hit in the air to right. Chasing Tibbs back to the warning track. He makes the catch. And Florida State wins game number 25 of the season.